Okay, being on black, folks, and basically that Lasco 2 today, and then I'm going to take you over what you're going to. What's good about when we find pan stars today in our Navy is we're going to find out our object that we've been seeing here for a long time, which basically is a planet because we're going to show you the shadow and the distance. Because basically, we're going to take you down to the actual factual data below here, and you're going to see what I've showed before. And we got to remember we're at two, so we're closer in. We're at 8.4 million miles. Yeah, it's a massive distance, but remember. This one down here is 30 million miles, okay? So as we come up here, we're gonna go take a look at this object. And what I'm gonna also take you to is, we're gonna go, you're gonna be able to see what you got here on Navy above when I first show you that last go to shot. And also, we've got a massive object that's basically can be seen here. Uh, we should be able to move down on the map here. I thought I had this at the right size. Uh, let me go up, Q, and bring that in. Should be able to bring it down. There we go. And here it is. And you can see that. That's huge. Okay. I got it at 200%. If I, if I pump up any more, and basically what we're at is at the Chickama, I think it is. Basically, I guess I can slide over. No, I can't. When I'm at 200, I can't slide over. But it's a, a fireball network, and basically that's from Earth on the ground, and you're looking up, and you're being able to see that, okay? Now, let's also take you to more than actual factual. We'll take you to the map. We'll show you from fireball what you ended up looking, what you end up looking at is Rigel down here in the right-hand side. And I'll show you a blown uh, a blown out view in a second of the map, but I'm going to show you what we constantly end up seeing is basically a supergiant, which Rigel is, but more than likely it's what we're always seeing is our star that we've been seeing for a long time. If anybody's been watching the live view, and I'm at Fireball, okay. So if we come down here, you'll see what we're talking about, and I'll pull the magnifier out because 200 is about as big as I can get here. Got the magnifier down here in the corner. I get the magnifier up. We will go up, slide over, and we'll keep magnifying in. And you'll realize that there are huge objects out in space because Rigel or any supergiant is a huge round. And then you can also see some stars so much around it. And it starts to bleed fact true that we might actually be able to have enough light from Rigel. A and B to C Rigel BB and you'll if you just keep keep this signature in your mind and this ain't gonna go away on fireball we're gonna see this for a while because NASA's gonna have a hard time trying to black it out and as you can see as I zoom in a little bit more we'll get all the way up to 16 percent to be able to get that out of the way and you'll be able to take a real good look at it and as you can see we have you know our atmosphere our cloud cover and so forth but on a clear night and everything like that or clear afternoon and you can go ahead and research the times remember that's always UTC time and everything like that but you can see that basically you get what you're gonna end up seeing in the future I'm gonna be showing you these stars okay clusters of stars uh, and basically I'm gonna be showing you Rigel A and B actual photos from out in space and in the future you're gonna be able to know that all this stuff matches up and you can actually see this stuff on the ground because there's such huge size and there's bright stars that are brighter than the sun that are behind that and you can actually see that during the daytime and all kinds of times now what I'll do is I'll take you back real fast to the okay NASA map I'm going to show you this real fast on Lasco 2 and then watch our object that we're going to end up showing you here I'll end up showing you this here object that we constantly see get blocked out by NASA and it does and uh, let me take you that over to there now what I've got is we've got uh, the shot that you can get and I'm going to basically get up and back. So that's Pan Stars down there, okay? Pan Stars is the bright thing between the threes down there, okay? Because basically it's 03 and then it's today's the date of the 10th, okay? And it's 1784. This is the freshest shot I've been able to get. It's been there all day pretty much, okay? The great thing is, is with our object, okay, that's Pan Stars down there by the numbers, okay? That's Earth over there with the shadow to the right. Okay, stereo behind, and I'm going to keep pumping up. Now remember, I can't, when I'm magnified, I can't point, okay? But you're going to see the shadow of that planetoid object, and as you can see, you can see as I get up, you can see the pixel block that they block out, okay? What it is is a pixel block, but there's, there's such so many pixels 
that there's even that many pixels within the shot and you actually get the shadow of it. It's no photo glitch or anything like that. So I pump up real good and you'll get to see that's what they are blocking out. They block out that quadrant so that you cannot see and then basically here from this shot it's not blocked out and you get to see that planetoid object. Okay? Because as I pump out of here on size, okay, you're gonna see that okay, Mercury's up here in the sun, you're not gonna be able to really see Mercury. But that planetoid object is down there below the sun, and that's what we've seen in Alaska too when I take you to that red shot. Now I'm gonna take you back there, you'll see it, and then what I will do is now the map is everything is correct and everything here basically there you go you can see um, basically I'm double checking make sure I got everything clicked right but yep, the up the dates right the month the years right everything okay so basically we'll pump up here with the magnifier and you're gonna see these are the names of all the objects you're gonna have to read as good as you can and basically above the red line because there's an object you'll end up seeing okay so you can take your pick of these and then you can go research real fast okay it's faster than me reading them off and everything. Now, basically, it should be within the circle, okay? So we're above the red line in the circle to the to the right. We move left, and then I'll go up and give you above the circle, and then you can look up these objects. And that's that's one of the one of the uh, super giants there. Those are all super giants, 4A, and so forth, okay? And then I'll end up looking this one up for you too, because basically, it's, that's basically I think all in Greek or Arabic. Okay. I mean, I think it's yeah, it's all Greek. Okay, so basically, we go over to our shot, and I'm going to blow it up full size. It should stay where you see there are our object. Okay, now what I'll do is you'll end up that uh, that's what our planetoid. There's a planetoid object. We reason we don't see it on Earth is if you go back to the shot, and I'll go back there in a second and show you. And get this out of the way. It'll come in at the very end. And the reason you don't see it is because it's way low, uh, you know, it's always way low of, of Earth, okay? It's way low of the sun, too, okay? And there you see it again at the very end. Now, I got to show you what we end up getting if I just go, I, I'll have to refresh the page, and I'll show you how you, I do it. Because basically, you're going to see what, what I ended up seeing is I'm just going to hit refresh. I'm going to hit refresh. And right at the bottom, you see, and then I'll blow in on that real fast. Matter of fact, I'll put up, I don't think it'll start the movie. And you can see what I was talking about is I that we found this here, there, and then I can go ahead and pull out our magnifier. And since I can't point, but you can't miss what we're looking at, then we'll pump up on that. Scoot over on it, and there you go. So you can go ahead and, and on your, that was the correct map for an avian, and you can research and see what that, what we ended up there. Uh, email me uh, you know everybody I want to unblock my emails in my comments because they're blocking my comments and emails like crazy it's ridiculous super ridiculous okay so uh, this is I'm gonna give you basically this was the latest I got and we're going through basically what this is is the frequencies that you're getting off of what they're radaring out there okay okay from spam network okay and then this is our recent there okay the most recent and as you can see I'll move down through the map here and it just refreshed it refreshes a lot uh, we've been getting a lot of material coming around and basically I should pop back through and go to the biggest signature that we had through this stuff and I can just go all the way pretty much to the last few and that and we had something that was even three times the size of that and I don't know if I go to the last one. Yeah, the, the biggest one was this. But basically, I caught this earlier in the day, way back like this. So it could be some... There's plenty of stuff following pan stars around. So, uh... And we also had this object today, too. Okay? And this was... was this, this is like 373,000 miles. Uh, actually, let me go. I got the data up on that. Let me Let me get that queued up. And so we should, and we had like a 6.7 quake. You can research that. 6.7 quake uh, down in Papua New Guinea. Okay. So, uh, and 
the tsunami warnings, it seems to, they don't really have anything, but it was real close to, they should have had a pretty good wave because it was very close to the coast. Very, it was a very coastal close uh, quake that they had down there, okay? So we have these two comets coming around, pan stars. You know plenty of enough about pan stars. You can go research that stuff. Remember, it takes 100 million years for pan stars orbit. They just found the, the bugger two years ago, okay? So pan stars is totally, let me go to that. I can give you a JPL on, on pan stars real fast. And basically, if you zoom in and zoom out, you, if I zoom all the way in, so you don't even get the orbitable. And then if you go just a little bit, and then as you see, and they, and they talk about Neptune being out by Neptune. Well, it's a bunch of bunk because the idea that, and that's space.com had that article. It's ridiculous. They did have the honest truth. It takes 100 million years at least, but they're just ballparking it, okay? So Pan Stars is remarkable. They just found it two years ago on Pan Star Telescope. Okay, that's why they called it Pan Stars and C slash 2011L4. That's your Pan Stars, and that's our comet that we're looking at today, which helps us get a great view of being able to see uh, our planetoid object there that we have in there. That you absolutely, and that's Pan Stars down between the numbers, and that's our planetoid object that's below Mercury there. That's between, and you see how low it is. I can't point where the poop because I, I can't trust the poper, the the, the pointer. So I don't think anybody can. Anyway, I did that. <laughs> so anyway, lower of uh, the sun there. Okay, we showed you the shadow, and also you can see the shadow of. Uh, I think if I get, oh yeah. See, I have to use a magnifier to zoom up on this shot because QuickTime only gives it to you at that size when you're in here on this. So actual factual, there is a planetoid object, something pretty darn good size. Okay, and remember, Mercury's the same size as the moon. It's just got a lot of luminosity to it, okay? So it's got a lot of metallic, uh, you know, more than like pyrite. It's got to have a lot of pyrite in it, more than likely, okay? Uh, and if not, borax, okay, just like the moon. There's got to be a lot of py pyrite and borax on the moon and also Mercury because Mercury is pretty much the same damn size as uh, the moon. Okay, and then basically you can take your pick on what you think the moon is up here. I would think that more than likely, what we what we can get anything a signature of the moon by looking at this shot with them, and then you can go look. And I should have looked at what we have for uh, where the moon sits right now on the Earth. But the idea that if you see that lower and it's got a shadow to it, the upper right by Earth there, I'll get in real tight on Earth. That that second X that you see next to Earth above behind the shadow of Earth, more than likely that is the moon. Okay, more than likely that is the moon, and then its shadow going off into space behind, uh, behind the moon because of the reflection of the sun and, and so forth. It's just it's kind of a little bit of a guess there, but you can take your own pick too of what you figure that. So, and remember, no matter what, that's Comet Pan Stars down. I'll just zoom in on Comet Pan Stars and you get a good look at it right there. Okay. And I'm going to have another video, there's going to be, you know, there's always going to be a video and basically you just follow each other. And I've got some shots from down on Earth of the moon and uh, I'm going to bite my tongue on telling you because I don't want it to get blocked because I've already seen them get rid of it. Because I'm going to be showing you some more actual factual that NASA doesn't want you to know. Okay. Anyway, let's get what else I can get in this video here real fast. And remember, folks, here real fast that the idea that when you're showing you the actual factual and the data of the distance that we can see out in space, remember, the C2 is a closer image of the sun. So when I was showing you, and I'll just hit I'll hit play because it plays real fast, and I'll jibber-jabber because there really ain't much to see besides we knowing that the planet is there. Now, I'll be able to freeze it at the end, and you have to realize that that is close to the sun. C2 is close to the sun, and that's where we're at is C2 because I'll show you how far away C3 is, okay? And I missed it, so I'm just going to keep the tape rolling and I'll pop C3 over. Okay, and we'll come down and look at C3. You see, C3 is a far shot, okay? So you realize that the huge distance that I showed you, okay, that there, there, you, you can freeze and read that spiel. Yeah, they got the same deal below, okay? This is 30 million miles, okay? the up, So, yep, that object is below down there, and as you see, they blocked it out, and I showed you the information. So remember, way below Mercury, it's there. You can't miss it. And it's, you know, below the sun. You can't miss it. 
Well, there it is, right below the sun in Mercury. So thanks for finding Panstar so we could find it.